these are 12 things you shouldn't do when visiting Bali that are gonna make your life so much easier and your experience so much better. Number one and most important, don't brush your teeth with tap water. I'm not a fan of tap water in general, but here in Bali, the pipes are so dirty that the water carries so many bacteria and you might be catching a virus just by brushing your teeth. So always use mineral water. In case you do get sick, I leave a link somewhere. It's not sponsored, these guys are real lifesavers. They will come wherever you are, get your medications, get your IV, and you'll be back in no time. Number two, don't wait for your turn at the crossroad. As bad as this sound, when driving a scooter, if you wait for your turn, you're gonna wait forever. When you're an intersection, unless there is a traffic light, it's very rare that somebody's gonna let you pass. You may as well just make your way through little by little very carefully. Here the traffic is so crazy, there's scooters coming from every corner, motorbikes, there's trucks with very spiky objects tied up very poorly. So if you're not a confident driver, definitely this is not the place to learn. You're better off downloading Gojek. It's very safe, easy and cheap. And this leads to number three, which is don't get upset when people honk at you. It's just their way to let you know that they are coming behind you. Number four, don't smile at the monkeys. Smiling in monkey language is considered a threat. So any sign of showing your teeth is gonna get them really upset and you don't want to mess with no mad monkey. Also, make sure to watch your belongings, such as sunglasses, phones, open backpacks, as the monkeys always try to mug you, and they are smart. If you aggressively try to get your stuff back, they're gonna get really pissed, and they may even bite you with some nasty disease. So always try to stay calm and nice, and maybe offer them something back, like a banana or a new iPad. Number five, don't do or sell drugs. Indonesia has got crazy strict laws for drug possessions and trafficking, you may end up in jail or even face that penalty. If you really want to get freaky, just go to a smaller island such as Gilimeno or I don't know because I've never been, but it should be way less risky over there. Number six, don't go to random ATMs to withdraw your money, as they may take your card and you may never see it again. Go to ones attached to a major bank or to branded standalone ones. You want to keep in mind that they have fee as high as $5 per transaction, so maximizing each cash withdrawal is going to be the best option. Number seven, trust your stomach instincts. Trust your gut. You eat something, you feel like, I'm not too sure spit it out it's not worth it unfortunately here in bali the staff is not always well trained it's a lacking sometimes of a basic food hygiene and sometimes the cook just doesn't really care anyway i'm not saying that local restaurants are better or worse than fancy western restaurants actually every time we got sick was from very fancy places the only thing i would suggest is pick a place with a good traffic of people so that you can almost make sure that the food is always fresh that's all you can do actually Number eight, don't keep your shoes on when entering in someone's home. Wearing shoes indoor might be seen and is very disrespectful and also not hygienic. Number nine, don't step on the Balinese offerings on the ground. These are called Chanang Sari. I hope I pronounce it right. But anyway, these are offers that people leave outside of their house or outside of their shop every morning as a sign of gratitude to the universe. Stepping on them is really, really disrespectful. Don't do it. Number 10, don't stay in Kuta. Or at least don't stay there for too long. There's so many better places than Kuta. If you like vibing and surfing, maybe you can stay in Changu. If you're more into spirituality, you can check out Ubud. If you like going to the beach, you can go to Uluwatu. Or maybe you like to get lost in nature. So you can check more the north side of the island. Just don't get stuck in one place. Number 11, don't, don't smile. You'll be surprised how far can a smile take you here in Bali. You will gain trust from a local and uh, it's also good for your life in general. Number 12 and last one for today is uh, something I just discovered. In Balinese culture, the left hand is considered impure. Don't use it for taking food, handing over money, as it's considered disrespectful. This is the end of the video. I hope you find it useful. If I missed anything, please comment it below so other people can read it. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao.